School was very difficult for me. They weren't very nice to me in school at all. They were mean. They called me a loser, and they said I couldn't learn anything, and I was going to be held back, and they wished I was never born. And it wouldn't have bothered me that much, but I was homeschooled. And the thing is that <laughs> when it's family, it hurts more. I have two sisters. They're not very nice. And they're not very pleasant to look at. In other words, I have two sisters, and I'm the hottest girl in the family, by far. There, there's no question in my mind. I'm feeling a little weird. Do I seem a little weird to you, a little off? I thank you. I appreciate your honesty. Thank you. It's a little painful, but it's truthful. And I just, I spent a dollar on water today, a bottle of water. Maybe I missed a meeting. Doesn't this stuff fall out of the sky for free? Maybe later on I'll pick up a six pack of wind. No, I should. <laughs> don't we, did you ever buy dirt? You don't feel a little ridiculous leaving Home Depot with a bag of dirt? <laughs> we live on an orbiting chunk of dirt. There's no different levels of dirt. They'll tell you it's some kind of Yugoslavian turbo dirt, but believe me, there's just dirt. <laughs> Does this say comedy show out front or take this incredibly serious show? Maybe I took a wrong turn. <laughs> I don't know the area that well. Since I live in Cali, baby, I know you mock us. I know you don't like California. I know that. And I realize that. I understand. And, and you like to say and you like to joke that we're going to have an earthquake and we're just going to snap off and float away from the rest of the country. But we're looking forward to that day, to be quite honest. We really are. You guys have been keeping us down long enough. It's time to trim the fat. And we are California. Come on, you would miss us. We're not one of the Dakotas, let's be honest. If North Dakota up and left, there's a good chance none of us would notice ever. People would just stand around going, hey, what used to be here before this ditch? I mean, we have two Dakotas now. We could have had four. Nobody said anything. We're Cali, baby. We do, California, you gotta admit, does what it wants, whenever it wants, doesn't ask anybody anything. They put a SeaWorld in San Diego. You guys been to San Diego? Okay, you know then, it's a city already next to the ocean. You could save the 300 bucks and look left. That's the mothership, the actual ocean. Do you remember at SeaWorld that Shamu used to kiss? You know, kiss people. That's awkward, especially if you're younger and your first kiss is by a whale. It's a little weird when you're at a pajama party and people always ask you, you know, who'd you first kiss? What was he? Was he what was he like? Was he black or white? And you're like, yeah. He was. <laughs> Cali, baby. I went fishing in the LA River the other day and I caught a shopping cart and smallpox. So. <laughs> Sometimes I know it, I can be very immature. Sometimes I like to go to frat houses, and I know you got a lot of college people here, and they always have those flat tops. For some reason, frat dudes love the flat top de jure haircut, and I like to bring a remote control helicopter and try to land on their heads for a few hours. <laughs> this to me is just, it's super fun, is it? Dude, seriously, quit it. Dude, dude. I like living in California because you can answer anything with whatever dude. That's an answer in California. You go, whatever dude, and people walk away like information was actually exchanged. I feel really smart there. I grew up in one of those finely planned communities. You know, where they wall themselves in. They got a security gate and a moat and a dragon and a troll under the bridge. I don't know what they're worried about. Maybe the other planned community attacking their planned community. But they always give it a name like Whispering Ridge or Agua Fria Via. Because they're not going to call it what it is. You know, they're not going to say, keep driving by, you lower income loser, you. You can't afford to live here. <laughs> it's not easy to spell, <laughs> but you can do it if you try. You have to drink bottled water in LA. I mean, the, the tap water, you get all kinds of mystery chunks in there. It's not good. 
I'm getting a bald spot. It's actually not a bald spot anymore. It's more like a district. It's becoming <laughs> its own municipality, which I'm not appreciating at all. But I did come up with something that I'm very excited about. And I, I, you guys are going to be the first people I'm going to tell about this, but it's a, a natural resource that I've discovered that's going to save the entire universe. Are you ready? No, this is big. This is huge. It's a natural, reoccurring, renewable resource called bobbing elderly people. Are you familiar with it? Okay, let me explain this to you. This is something beautiful. When people get a certain age, about 80, you know, when elderly people start to get super duper cute. They don't swim anymore. They just kind of bob around in the pool. You know, a little bit. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm starting to do it a little bit. So I like to go to the edge of the pool and try to get them to pick up the pace a little bit. Like, hey, 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 come on, come on. And they start going really fast. Then you throw in a quarter cup of detergent and a load of laundry. <laughs> this is, don't you, what do you, this is a natural resource. It's a, it's a bit of a fossil fuel if you think about it. <laughs> you guys are good. Thank you. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I mean, I wasn't sure. But now I know the jokes that I can do. <laughs> but living in California, they don't care what they do. We don't, I mean, we put a grizzly bear on our state flag. I Googled it. Do you know how many grizzly bears, just take a guess, are running around California? Just, what do you? Zilch, yeah, zilch. Zero, which is the gateway to like negative three. Zero's not a lot. I mean, don't you think they should update the flag, put something on there that California has a ton of? Like a hippie in a Prius drinking a smoothie. That would make sense to me. Because we don't eat fruit in California. We need it mushed and smushed and with whey protein. We can't, I can't eat an apple. I could ruin my tooth. I need a smoothie. I make a lot of noises now. I just, because things are becoming, I can't say anything without getting in trouble. So now I just like, and then, you know, you can't go to court and the judge goes, sir, did you say, I said I did. They go, well, that's legal. <laughs> Like you can't. <laughs> Cali, baby. <clears throat> I was standing in line. It's not the friendliest place in the world for groceries, minding my own business. Bag boy looks at me and he goes, dude, what are you looking at, dude? What are you looking at, dude? You got a problem, dude? I said, nothing, Captain Paper or Plastic. I was just sort of eyeing your feather duster. <laughs> Maybe it was the chrome handle that lured me into your love web. I apologize. <laughs> then his eyes glazed over and he started to chant, eggs on top, canned goods on the bottom. He turned into a bag boy zombie. <laughs> right in front of you, that's a true story. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever, dude. 